Hello and welcome to Sudokana. We're here to solve this irregular Sudoku by British author Tom Collier. It was featured in the latest Sudoku Grand Prix. And I was happy to solve it in a reasonable time. Um, by that I mean that I usually struggle on those kinds of uh, squiggly Sudoku grids. But this time uh, I have managed to find my way. Well, I was not that quick. But uh, that was all right by my standards. So I, I really like the, the jigsaw pieces uh, like this. So let's focus on the digits that have a great quantity. So you see, with those nines, we can locate our first digit in the grid. Then those nines here, well, actually, this, these nines here. Are interesting, but perhaps not that much. Well, where should where should we look? This seven here. Those sevens put a seven in here. So for this region here, we can remove seven from those cells, and there's a seven somewhere here. Now seven is nowhere in here. So three places for seven in this region. Now I'm seeing digit 4 here, it goes into this cell, and now 8 will be somewhere in one of two places. I'm also seeing 6 here, which goes in one of two places in this column, and in, in this region for that matter. I'm also seeing 1 here which will have to be in one of those places, which means that we have located one for the last column. So one won't be here. One still has three places in this region. Now, is this useful to pencil mark that? I'm not sure it is. The six here is interesting because it locates six on the first column. So 6 can't be here, it can't be here, so 3 places for the... Oh, actually, only 2 places because of the 6 that is in here. So we have a 6 somewhere in here. Now, what, what about this region? What, what did I say? Now, I'm, I'm thinking now about this region because 6 is not in here. And with those pencil marks, 6 is not in here, so 6 will be in one of those places. And so 6 is not in here, not in here. So 3 places, yes, that's interesting. 3 places for 6, that's interesting because we have a kind of a uh, swordfish. Well, it's just the fact that in those three rows, we have located three instances of digit six, and we know that those three rows contain exactly three times the digit six. So this here can't be a six. And then for these two rows, where is the second six? Because those two rows contain two instances of the, oh, I'm seeing the other stuff. Because of this kind of swordfish, we know that 6 can't appear in any of those cells. So we, this region will have its 6 in one of those two places. And so this can't be a 6 anymore. And that is a 6. And then with that, I'm not sure what to do. don't think I can do anything more. 3 is not here, so it will have to be somewhere in here, but that doesn't seem to be so promising. Here I need 1, 2, 3, and 4. Oh, actually, this 3 is not here by just the rules of Sudoku, and it's not here because of the, the, the jigsaw piece. So 3 is here on this row. Regarding this column, this row, 3 is not here, but there are still 3 places, so that's 
not so interesting. So three is not in here. Three must appear in one of those cells. So now three is around here. Three is in one of three places here. I'm tempted to look yes three somewhere here so I can remove this option so there's a three in here I can pencil mark it perhaps so for this region three is nowhere here but I'm afraid that's not so interesting oh perhaps it is so three is somewhere in here and we've already seen that three is somewhere in here so we have two instances of three in those two columns so three can't be here and there's a three in here And now, three here doesn't work because there's a three in here, in here, and in here. So that's a kind of salt fish again. We already have three instances of three on those three rows, and this is no more an option. I'm probably making things a bit too difficult. Probably. That's very likely. What about the second row one can be here but it could also be here well this eight is more interesting i think eight is nowhere in here so eight has to be somewhere here i think i had a better vision during the contest So where, where should I look now? Here I need one, two, and four. So f and because of this, four is in one of two places on this row. So on this row, four is not here, four is not there, it's not here, so it's here. Well, that is definitely more useful. Now, because of those fours, there's a four here, which means that there's a three in there, and now the three places for three inside this region were here. We can remove those ones. So that's a three. That's a three. And here, that's a three. And then for this region, it was there. I don't think I can do anything more at this point. So, oh, this five, what about five? Not sure what to do about digit five. So this is one or two, and that's interesting because this digit here does not appear in here, so it must be there. So those are from one, two, and eight, and this can't be a one, this can't be a two. And now those those include a nine and that's interesting because so there's a nine in here and there's also a nine so there's also a nine in here and now we have two nines on those two rows so those can't be nines and there's this can't be a nine this can't be a nine and i get this nine and this seven and I can remove those options for nine so that is a nine and it removes an option for seven so there is a seven in here so no seven in there no seven in here 
and seven is limited to those two places. So now with those sevens, that's not a seven. Those are not sevens. So here we have a six, seven pair. And this nine, this nine removes this, so that's a nine, not a zero. So here, though, the only place for a 1 is here, and that's a 2-8 pair. And the missing 2 or 8 must be here, and that's not a 2, so that's an 8. That's a 2, that's an 8. Oops, that's an 8. Now this 8 makes this a 1, it pushes the 8 into this cell, and 1 is the same digit as this. And we have a 2-4 pair to complete this row. That is a 2, by the rules of Sudoku, and up there we get a 3 and a 9, so that's the 3, that's the 9. This here is not a 3, that's the 3, and inside this region, 3 goes there. I still need 2, 6, and 5 in here. On this row, I still need... 5, 6, and 8. So this is 5 or 6. This is 5 or 8. There's still some work to do. So I, I was qualifying this puzzle of non really, uh, not really a struggle, but it seems uh, that was a, a bit optimistic on my part. Now on, on this column, 4 is not here, and because of this it's not here, so 4 has to be here in the column, and that's a 2. So 4 is not here, it's not here, so on this column 4 is here, and it pushes the 3 to this cell, that's not a 3, 3 is pushed into this cell. Here we get 1 and 8, but there's an 8 here. Here we get 7 and 5, here we get 2 and 8. Oh, this 7 here removes this option. So this 7 could have been placed a while ago. That's a 5. That's a 6. That's a 5. This 7 makes this a 6. That's a 7. This row still needs 1, 6, and 8. And that's not a 6, so that's a 1. 6 and 8 here, so that's 8, that's 6. And up there I get this 5 and this 8. Here, that's not a 2, so that's a 1. That's the 2. Here, 5 and 7, but there's a 7 here. This 8 pushes the 8 into this cell, 2 and 8 there. That's not a 2, so that's the 2, and that's the 4, and that's the 1. Here I need 6 and 7, so that's 6, that's 7. This column still needs a 6, it's definitely not here, so that's a 5, that's a 6, that's a 5, that's a 2, and that's a 9. So that was probably too much of a struggle, and I hope much more of a struggle than what I did during the contest. That's because well, it's always difficult to scan those grids. Still, there was no extraordinarily complicated logic involved, but 48 points was a fair assessment of the difficulty, I think. Thanks for watching this video, and See you soon on Sudokana.